Hi there, and let's get to it. Reporting from DaVinci Resolve 12.5, I'm going to be looking at one of the new tools in the inspector panel. It's called the Dynamic Zoom, and it allows you to quickly apply a zooming effect on any clip from the first frame to the last. So it's equivalent to applying an animation to your zoom values, except it doesn't use keyframes. If I select the clip and activate my inspector, I can scroll down to reveal the Dynamic Zoom. Before I activate this, I want to see what this clip looks like without the effect applied. So it's a locked off shot of a character coming into center frame. To activate Dynamic Zoom, I'm going to click on the gray dot next to its name, which will turn it white. And that's it, the effect's already been applied. If I was to play this back right now, we now have the effect of the camera zooming out. I could very easily switch this around by clicking on the swap button. And now if I play this clip from the beginning, the opposite will happen. We get a nice slow zoom in effect. The effect is so simple that it doesn't even come with any keyframing abilities. However, we can still affect the smoothness of the zoom using the dynamic zoom ease option at the top. So if you watch the Curves Editor video, you might remember the Easy Ease In and Out controls and how they will affect an animation. Here, instead of manually amending the keyframes, you can just indicate how you want the zoom to occur, and now it will be a little bit less mechanical. So it starts off slow, speeds up in the center, and then slows down towards the end. You have further controls if you refer to the bottom left-hand corner of your viewer and open up your dynamic zoom controls. Now you have these outlines telling you where your zoom begins, that's the green outline, and where it will end, that's the red one. When you click on swap, the colors reflect that. You've also got points on the corners of the viewers, which means that you can now indicate at what scale you'd like your zoom to begin and end. And what's also pretty cool is you can grab these bounding boxes and even change the position of the zoom, so it's a combination of both the zoom and the position controls being animated. So now when I play this back, the zoom will focus on my character. Keep an eye on the corners of the screen, because in my case, I see the black outline for a second before I start zooming in. This was most likely due to the fact that I was using Easy Ease. I can select the bounding box, right click, and choose to Easy Ease in only. And that's helped it. If you want to deactivate the animation without losing your controls, just click on the white dot again, and that will temporarily turn it off. And then turn it back on when you're ready to have it back. If you're into documentary filmmaking, you might have heard of the term Ken Burns effect, which is a way of animating the scale and position values on still imagery in order to make it look more dynamic. Uh, the dynamic zoom tool is perfect for this. All you have to do is drop your still image into the timeline. Uh, in my case, I'm also going to zoom in a little bit to fill up the screen. And then activate the dynamic zoom in order to introduce the movement. Thank you very much for watching and until next time.